As far as former President Trump, I think he's going to run. Obviously, he's in the race. He's not going to be the nominee. That's just not going to happen. Um, and so I think there's a lot of opportunity to bring forward what the, yeah. the Republican Party, not what we were, not yesterday's leadership or yesterday's story um, or, or crying about what happened in November of 22, but what we're going to bring to the table and get done tomorrow. Right now, if the election were today, Ron DeSantis would win in New Hampshire. There's no doubt about that in my mind. Uh, I think Ron DeSantis would right. win in Florida. By staying out of the race, it's a smaller field may be tougher for Trump to get the nomination. I didn't want to have a uh, pile up of a bunch of people fighting. Right now you have, you know, Trump and DeSantis at the top of the field, uh, you're soaking up all the oxygen, getting all the attention, and then a whole lot of the rest of us in single digits. And uh, the more of them you have, the less chance you have for somebody rising up. Uh, we've got to start getting back to a party that, uh, that, that, that people will vote for, or we don't get to govern. What's it going to mean for the Republican Party if Donald Trump insists on running even if indicted? Well, look, that's a hypothetical, right? I mean, we'll see if that plays out. I think what's happening, though, within the Republican Party right now in terms of presidential candidates is healthy. Celebrity leaders with fragile egos, big voices, people obsessed with Twitter. You leave us with no other assumption in that you are talking about your former boss and that you may be considering a serious run yourself. It's not about President Trump or former President Trump. It's not about President Biden. It's about, it's about the American people and getting this right. And, you know, I'm not dodging your question either. We are working our way through. Susan, my wife Susan and I are working our way through trying to figure out what's next for us. And in very short order, we'll have figured that out and we'll, we'll let everyone know, Shannon. What does short order mean? Got a timeline? Uh, not, a, not a hard one, but next couple months. Are you going to endorse Joe Biden if he runs for re-election? Oh, there's plenty of time for the election. This is the problem with America right now. We start an election every time there's a cycle coming Yeah, he's up. the leader of your party. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, no, the bottom line is, let's see who's involved. No, I'm supporting Joe Biden. He's running for re-election, and he's going to get re-elected. I don't think there's anybody that's serious that's actually considering running against Joe Biden because he's done such a great job. I don't see myself as running against Joe Biden. I see this campaign as challenging a system. But this administration has given more But you do oil. have to beat Biden, too. I mean, well, if yes, I do. do this, you have yes, to. I do. And I plan on pointing out, not with any kind of negativity on a personal level. I have, I have no interest in taking pot shots on any personal level to this president. He's mm -hmm. a nice man. Will you endorse him if he wins the nomination? I will certainly endorse the candidate who I feel can beat the Republicans, absolutely. So, but, uh, but if he's the Democratic nominee, will you endorse him? I, I, will, I will do whatever I feel I can do as an American to make sure that the neo-fascist threat that is represented by some aspects of the Republican Party does not win in 2024.